Hi, I'm Lisa Logan, founder of OnlinePilatesClasses.com, and if you've ever felt that you are too busy to have the Pilates practice you want consistently, this video is for you. This workout is a 15-minute express workout for beginners on up, and it's going to be a full body workout, so no excuses on how busy you are. I made this for you. If you'd like to listen to music while you move, then in the description, you'll find a Spotify playlist. Make sure you click it, play, press play on any songs you like. The workout is not built to a beat of a song, so you can pick the music that you enjoy listening to and move with us. And if you have questions, make sure you drop those in the comment below. I will answer all of them. I also will answer them live on our Q and A's on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So before we get moving, make sure you hit the bell, subscribe to this channel so you never miss any of our workouts, tutorials, and some of the fun myth busting stuff I love to do to make sure you understand all the most amazing things about Pilates and how it affects your body. Welcome to OnlinePilatesClasses.com, the most supportive Pilates loving community across the globe. Enjoy new weekly classes from our amazing teachers. Download the OnlinePilatesClasses.com app today. Let's get into it. So we're gonna start on our backs. <laughs> What I want you to do is, if your back allows, have your legs out straight. If you are really, really new to this, then bring the knees into the chest, okay? And we can leave the legs down on the mat if you have them there, or you'll lift them up with me uh, for the hundreds. So you can lift your head and chest up here, leave the legs down, or you're gonna lift the head and chest, leave the legs up. And as I mentioned, you can leave them into your chest if you're really new. You're gonna pump your arms vigorously. The legs can go as high as you need them to go so that you feel this in your center and not in your back. If you at all feel it in your back, bring those knees into your chest or place the feet down here. So, so many options. Pilates is really built for everybody. And if you need more, let me know below. So you're breathing into your nose and out through your nose. These pumps are vigorous. They are trying to destabilize your abdominals while we try to keep our abdominals stabilized. Two more cycles of breathing. One more. All right, rock and roll up to sitting. Feet down on the mat, knees together. If you wanna put something between your knees, that's fine. You just wanna squeeze those inner thighs. Hands behind your legs is easier. Arms out front is a little harder. We roll back to your lower back, and then we come up. And we round back, and we come up. Ideally, you can roll back even further, but you wanna keep your feet down on the mat. We're gonna do five more. If you are like, oh, I would like more, Leslie, then straighten your legs and do five roll-ups. Pulse one, two, three, and roll down, and roll up, and squeeze those legs in. Pulse one, two, three, and roll down. Woo! I love when I roll down, it's a little shaky. If when you're coming up, your legs are lifting, squeeze those legs tighter together, dig those heels down, and on the hardest part, you need a little bit more glutes. You need more outer hips, you need more inner thighs, or as I like to call it, your thighs, where your thigh meets your booty. Last one, and then stay up. So bend your knees. The elbow slip is a really awesome exercise if you are new to Pilates and also if you're busy because it helps teach the longest flexion. So keep those knees and feet together, pressing down. Make sure they're further away from you than you think. Slide one arm forward, pull it back. Slide the other arm forward, pull it back. You're trying to slip this elbow out, hence the name, without leaning. So just front to back and front to back. And if you want more, both arms forward, both arms back. Both arms forward, both arms back without dropping or lifting your chest. Oh my gosh, one more. Grab those legs, roll up, stay up, rolling like a ball. So at any time, you can go back to any of the things we just did. Absolutely great replacement for what we're doing. Heels together, toes apart, balance here at the top. This might be you. You might just like hold it here and just be like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm just balancing. <laughs> That's fine. Or you're gonna squeeze these heels tight together without looking up. So just look at those heels. <laughs> Rock back to your shoulders and come up. I like to use my breath. I like to inhale through my nose. It knocks me back. Exhale up. And ideally, you do this all in and out through your nose. Now, I know some of us have sinus infections. And that makes it difficult. But we try not to do it through the mouth because it does change where you work from. One more. All right. Roll back onto your back with your knees into your chest. Double leg stretch. So heels together. Toes apart, hands on your ankles. If you need to, place your hands behind your thighs, all right? Lift your head and chest up, shoulders out of your ears. Now, if you can't keep your head and chest up the whole time, then you'll keep it down and you'll take your legs higher. But I don't want the head to go up and down, okay? there You do wanna stay up or stay down. The arms reach back by the ears, the legs go out, your arms circle around. 
So if you're new to Pilates, this is a great exercise to get you ready to have those legs straight out for that hundred. As the arms go back, the chest wants to drop. You lift that chest up. Two more. Last one. Bring those knees in. Shake your head right to left. All right, easier as hands underneath the pelvis. A little harder. And where we're all working towards is interlaced hands behind the head. And you're going to push your head into your hands, hands into your head, relax your shoulders. Squeeze those heels tight together with your chest up. You lower the legs and lift. If you're keeping your chest down, hands are underneath your hips. Lower the legs and lift. We go as low as we can pull our stomach muscles into the mat. And we go as high as we can use our stomach to do it. So we're not swinging the legs back and forth. You should feel those heels squeezing tight together. Let's do one more. <laughs> Bring those knees in. All right. So with crisscross, leave your hands behind your head if they're there already. If they're underneath your hips, bring them back behind your head. You can um, easier keep one foot down, one knee bends in, curl up towards that bent knee, or one leg out, one knee in. You decide to crisscross like this or crisscross like this, okay? Five times each side, and we get to sit up, which is so nice, <laughs> and up. All right, so should feel nice and warmed up by now. All right, take the legs as wide as the mat, hands between your legs, sit up really tall for spine stretch forward, and then around forward, pull the waist back, pulse one, two, three, inhale, sit tall, exhale, round forward. So it's that roll up. So if you're new, I'm, um, we're layering the exercises. It's actually a little hard to feel those stomach muscles when you're going against gravity. So if you don't feel them, don't worry, we're gonna get you there. Maybe not today, might, might, might be next week, <laughs> maybe next year. And if you're not new, then this should feel really hard. <sighs> Last time. <sighs> all right, flip over onto your stomach. Let's do a little swan prep. So we do all of those exercises as a warm up to really work our stomach muscles before we go against gravity. All right, that's the method to the madness. So hands go underneath, one on top of the other and underneath your forehead. And then your inner thighs go up with your pubic bone reaching down, shoulders out of your ears. Then be mindful that you're pushing your feet down and not your belly down. Push your feet down. Your stomach can still touch the mat. We just don't want to put pressure there, right? We want to keep that tailbone reaching. Lift your hands, head and chest up and lower down. Now, if your legs lifted with your head and chest, reach that tailbone down, replace those legs, and then focus on just the chest lifting. Three times and hold. Drop the shoulders out of your ears, lifting the chest, pull the tailbone towards the heels. You should feel the upper back muscles working hard and then lower. If you want a little bit more, we'll lift the legs this time on purpose. So reach the tailbone long, lift the inner thighs up to lift the legs. The legs are parallel and hold. Breathe here. Inhale, exhale. So this is kind of the reverse shape of the hundred we're aiming for. The 100 was the exercise at the beginning of class. <laughs> Rest. If you're new, you might like, what's the 100? It's the beginning. But don't worry. We repeat the same exercise over and over again so we get to dive in deeper and get connected to them and really juice it out because it's a practice, not a perfect when you're working with me. All right, fist down, chest up. Here's that extension we just worked. So double check that it's not in your lower back, but it is crawling up into those upper back muscles. And then you kick, kick one leg, press it down kick, kick the other leg, press it down. If you need to set your chest down, it can be like this. Totally fine. It is brave and courageous to replace what we're doing with something you need to do right now and build up. All right. That's what we tell people at onlinepliesclasses.com. At OPC, we tell them it is brave and courageous to replace something because every day our body is different. Every day, like today, this might be like, oh my God, I'm slaying. Tomorrow you might come back to this and go, Ooh, that's harder than I thought. That's okay. That doesn't mean you did anything wrong. You have a new body. You slept better. Maybe you got more connected. Maybe the muscles and the mind connected to each other. One more time each side. <laughs> Sit back. Stretch out your back. And then flip onto your back. All right. Now we're going to be on some shoulder bridge. So feet and knees are a fist distance apart. Arms down by your side. Roll your hips up and roll your hips down. Notice if your heels like to roll in and out or if your toes do funky things. Can you roll the hips up? Stretch both hips and lower down. Feel your inner heel press into the mat so you're getting that inner thigh engagement. 
Press your shoulders wide. And on these last two, can you keep your eyes on your ceiling or the sky instead of your knees? Sometimes we like to look down and don't worry, your body is still there. <laughs> it's still there. All right, let's lie on one side for some side kicks. So we've worked our front, we've worked our back. We did a little twist, now we're working the side body strength, okay? So ideally, your feet are gonna be off of your mat. So if we're going on a regular Pilates or yoga mat, then you're going to take your feet off the mat. Okay. Cause you want more balance. Elbow is in line with shoulder in line with hip along the back edge and then top foot over the bottom foot. Okay. You're going to take your waist and it's not hanging. So we're not hiking this hip. I want you to reach it long and that should feel like your obliques are working. Now they might still be touching the mat. That's fine. My very newbies hands here. If you've been doing this a little bit longer with me, hand here, it's gonna be harder, okay? Take the top leg, point the foot, kick it to the front one, two, and to the back one, two. To the front one, two, and to the back one, two. It's not a big kick. I don't care if your foot touches your face because you're super flexible. <laughs> this whole chest has to stay still, all right? And kick, kick, and kick, kick. Hold it back there and draw five little circles back here. How far back can those circles go with your bottom leg pushing down? the key and rest okay all right here we go elbow in line with shoulder in line with hip and then hand here or behind your head if you had it top leg lifts point the foot kick it to the front and kick it to the back one thing I love to do is answer questions about Pilates I love busting the myths that people think that Pilates is just an ab workout or just a stretch workout or just for women. This is all a bunch of baloney. <laughs> I really love helping you become your own teacher. And so if you go into the description, hold the leg back now, hold it, hold it, draw those little circles. You'll see that we have a fun little promotional just for you, online Pilates classes uh, for you that you can try out. Just go to onlinepilatesclasses.com slash YouTube. All right, hold that circle, bring those knees in, rest. All right, final things together, right? So we are going to come into a push-up. Now, I know you're like, Leslie, I don't really love push-ups. Join me on this, I promise. So first of all, what can you do if you don't wanna do push-ups? On all fours, opposite arm and leg is working, okay? Because we need to work against gravity in a full body way. If you can stand up and do push-ups with me, here we go. We're gonna walk in and out. If you're like, ugh, I don't walk in and out, stay down in between each, you're still gonna hold that plank. Arms go up, they circle around. Head drops in, walk your hands out into four steps to find a plank. Place your knees down if you need to. We like to call these elbow bends at OPC. You're just gonna bend your elbows back and come up, or those knees are up, bend your elbows back and up. Three push-ups. Head in, walk those hands back as you lift your stomach, and then arms come up, circle around. Hello, we're doing the roll-up standing. Isn't that nice? Walk out, find that plank, knees down or knees up, hold the plank or three elbow bends. When you call them elbow bends, isn't it way more fun? <laughs> way more fun. You can take that hate for push-ups and leave it at the gym. When you work with me, we do a full body workout every time and we do elbow bends. <laughs> Last three. <sighs> Head in, lift your waist, stand on those feet. Lift, lift, lift. Arms by your ears, reverse roll up from the floor. Whew. All right, you worked your front, you worked your back. You worked your twist, you worked your side, and you worked from top to bottom. Thank you for letting me do this express workout with you. It is so important to me that you take time for yourself because here's what happens. When you fill your cup first, when you take time for you, you have more energy, more love, more generosity to give to others. You are the best version of yourself. That's why at OPC, we love to say that we help you do life better. And when you join us at OPC, not only can we look at your form and help spot what you could be doing to connect to the exercise more, but also we have this incredible community that loves to cheer you on, that loves to hold you accountable. And we actually believe that finishing a class is optional. So it doesn't matter how busy you are, we can help hold you accountable each week with the new classes that we have that we take away just to help show, help you show up for you. But if all you do is five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes, you still did the class. You still got your full body workout in because every exercise we do requires the whole body to show up. And when you're new, you might only fill it in one spot or maybe a couple spots. But the more you do this practice with me, the more this becomes a full body workout in every exercise. So no matter how many minutes you can commit to Pilates with us, we can make sure you got the workout that you need so you can go do life better. So check out that promo. Let us know how this workout made you feel in the comments below. I love to hear your aha moments. I love to hear your questions. I love supporting you. 
And again, if you're not ready for that community yet, then make sure you've subscribed to this channel comment below and join us on Sundays at 9 a.m. live so I can answer your questions. I am obsessed with helping you do life better. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day.